welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I've got a Dollar Tree DIY for you today. This is not unique to me. This is not something I came up with. I'm just showing you what I've seen. And I'm gonna take a placemat and turn it into a pillow. It will be like a lumbar size pillow, I would say. I'm not sure what, oh, 12 by 18 inches. So you need one of these Dollar Tree placemats. If you don't have this exact one, they have some that look like they're needle pointed, or you can get two if they don't have the backing on them and you can glue two together. I have this kind, but I will show you what I'm gonna do. Now, what you're gonna need, some scissors. I have fiber fill, but you can use um, a pillow form, an old bed pillow is great for stuffing. You can do that, you can get a form itself, you can stuff it full of cut up fabric. You can stuff it, I don't know, with your lunch. Okay, probably not your lunch. Um, yeah, I think that, oh, and a hot glue gun, because we're not gonna sell this one. I'm gonna use hot glue. Now, I did happen to iron on um, words onto mine, and I will show you that here. Um, where I ironed on the words I chose for my room, but we'll get to that. Well, now you've seen one of them. I made two pillows. So let's get going. I am going to, oh, and this comes in the fiber fill and it's very helpful. It looks like a chopstick, but what it is for is stuffing in the corners and making sure you get the fiber stuffing in those corners. Um, so yeah, that is it. And if you want to embellish it, you can do that too. But for this one, we're just going to do a very basic pillow and I'm going to show you how I do it. First things first, we're going to remove the label. And like I said, you can use any of the placemats. You can take two cloth napkins. You could take um, dish towels and do this and glue the dish towels together to make a pillow. I've seen that as well. So the first thing I like to do is just go around and get any of these loose little threads. You know, it was a dollar, those are loose threads, and cut them off. And then I flip it onto the back side, and these tags drive me nuts. So I cut that off. Now, there's many ways you can do this. You can just cut the end off and then glue it. I'm not going to do that. I have these little shears, the little pinking shears. You can use a... Um, also a thread ripper, but I couldn't find mine, so we'll use these. And I'm gonna get right in between here, right in between the two layers of fabric, because, oh, sorry, first step. You want to um, separate your two layers of fabric. So on um, this one here, and I'll show you when I get them separated, there's fusible web on the inside of this to hold the front and back together, which by the way, for a dollar, that is a fabulous um, detail. So it keeps these from getting all gross. Now I'm not sure if we're washing this, what it's gonna do. I wouldn't wash these anyway because of the stuffing. I just, ugh. that's why typically when I make pillows, if I was doing this like, I think I'm gonna keep this forever, I would put a zipper in here <laughs> in a pillow form. Like I would just add a zip, but we're not doing that today. So I have separated the front from the back. You just pull it apart. It's not going to hurt anything. I turn, I'll go down to this end. So now that we're apart, right, you see, I am just going into the seam here. And all it's going to take is one little thread. I'm sorry it's going to be hard to see for you. But you want to be careful, too, that you're not, although it's not going to hurt anything if you cut the fabric because we're hot gluing this. See, I got one little thread. And now I can separate it. I'm only making this hole to start off with big enough for my hand. It'll get a little bigger as I'm stuffing it, but I just don't want to run hot glue down the entire side seam. So there we go. Go this way. It's is super easy. And like I said, you can use really uh, anything. A seam ripper would have been ideal, but I don't know where mine is. I need to get a new one, I suppose. Um, I 
those are things you need. And you can just tug on it a little bit. I wouldn't pull overly hard. Just give a nice little tug. And like that's got it there. So we'll just go down here. And you just want to cut the threads, not the fabric, right? And I think that's good. So my hand will fit up in here. So this is what's on the inside. It's fusible interfacing. So yeah, it just makes it stiffer. So now you want to trim off any, you know, extra threads. When doing working with fabric like this, you don't want to ever pull strings, strands. You just want to um, trim them because if you start pulling, you may rip it apart. So that's good. I may like make just a little wider when I go to stuff it, but we'll see. I already have done that to this one, which I put on here with just, I used my Cricut and iron on and I cut out ho, ho, ho. Now, um, I know on Etsy, you can buy, um, iron ons from Etsy makers and stickers and vinyl decals. And then they send it to you with the backing and you just iron it on yourself. If that's something you're interested in, or you could take fabric glue, I mean, fabric paint and type, you know, handwrite it. This is what I chose to do. So then, you know, you, you take your fiber fill and it's going to take a lot. You just be prepared. I always go in and I start with this little back corner. And if my finger didn't get it in there, then I would get the stick out because there are times I need to use that, but not this time. My whole hand fits in here. And by my whole hand, I mean my whole arm, really. But you don't want to use too big of wads, you know. And then I don't overstuff mine because this is not a sleeping pillow or a sitting pillow. It's just going to sit on my bed and be a decorative pillow. So stuff it all the way to the end. And here's the other one that I made with the snowflakes. So I'm going to make sure the one thing is this corner's up here where I'm going to be doing the gluing. I want to make sure... Get those corners stuffed. And as I was doing this, that corner became unstuffed. So I'm just going to stick my arm down in there. And you're not going to really hurt anything. You know, just be a little gentle, but not overly gentle. And you can use your stick for this as well. But I like to get in those corners. And then we are going to just... The thing is, it's going to look bumpy until you... You know, you got to just kind of beat on it a little bit. <laughs> one more piece of stuffing and I think that is good so what we're I'm going to do is bring you down here so I can show you how I'm going to just glue up this end and I'm just going to glue that end together Ooh, it's like a mouth and we're going to put a little hot glue and to see how big it got with my stuffing so that's why I don't need to cut it all that big all right, let's bring you down here. Hot glue gun, if you can see here, I'm going to just put a little glue, not a lot, just a little bit. And you wanna watch your fingers, but if you pull it taut together, it almost makes it line up perfectly. And any glue that squeezes out, I will trim off after. See, I can just go in and trim it. Um. And if it didn't seal that one spot where I kind of missed after the fact, I can go in and just add, like right here, just add a little touch of glue. There we go. I don't like it all extra thick. So I'm going to show you again, right? I hope you can see what I'm doing here. It's already on the seam, so I'm just going right on that seam. And it's not cold, so you'll have a couple seconds. Let me flip it over. There we go. And squeeze it together. There we go. And it's fine. I mean, it's hot glue, guys. I will clear it up and clean it up after the fact. You really want it to dry before you trim it. And I'm just trying my darndest here. Like that didn't do real well, right? That one spot. And it's mostly because I'm trying to show you. <laughs> Here we go. So I'll put some in there and there we go. Now I know some people put like 
a border or some other fabric around it. I'm not going to. I don't think that's necessary. And then we're going to do the last little bit here. Right there. And pinch, pinch, pinch. There we go. And since it's not a sleeping pillow, like a pillowcase, um, it doesn't have to be overly taut. I'm just going to clean up some stuff here. So I got some of my stuffing came out and you're going to beat on it a little bit. And there you go. That end is sealed. You will not see right there. And it's going to be sitting on my bed. Like I said, I take them off, put them on the floor when I go to sleep. So I will show you the finished product on my bed. All right, guys, here's our pillows in the middle of my bed. I am smitten. They match perfectly. I'm super excited. And I hope you are too. All right. I hope you enjoyed. And this was something that you'll want to do as well. Have a good one. Bye.